Hi engineers, in this session we are going to learn about the beam calculation, the concrete as well as the shuttering for the beam in the Costex. If you are new to this channel, this is Basit Ahmed working as a quantity surveyor. Here I am teaching practical skills and software knowledge for the quantity surveyor. Let's start calculating the beam. Here I have a structural drawings. You can see the structural set of drawings. So as we all know, the beams has to be marked in the floor plan. For the training session, I already imported two slabs, level one and podium in the Costex. Before we start marking up, let's know what are the detail we need to know to start the calculation work. We need the floor drawings and the schedule of the beams. If there is any special beams or upstand beams, we need the sections as well. As I mentioned, here we have a floor plan and schedule of beam. Okay, here we have the structural drawings. So you can see the beams that are mentioned in the drawings B1 and HB um, and B2, everything. And also we have the beam schedule here. Here we can notice the size of the beam and this is the reinforcement detail that one we can use it later for the BBS calculations the only piece of information we need right now is the type of the beam and the size of the beam before starting the marker let's scale the drawing to scale drawing go to drawings click calibrate x-axis you have to keep in mind you have to calibrate x as well as the y-axis you can see it here calibrate just click the two points that we're gonna take as a reference and check this box 3.9 meter click ok now calibrate the y axis it's to choose this measurements click here and click here you can notice this is 330 centimeter drawings and the units are in centimeter here it is in meter so keep in mind while doing the conversion then it is 3.3 meter to verify the scale click m for measurement and you can check it's 3.9 meter next we can proceed for the marker we have to start with the dimension we are in the level podium okay podium level we will do for the one floor and the same process will be applicable for all other flows as well. Before starting off the measurements, we have to know how to write the description for the markup. As we are doing some manual calculations, we are gonna take the data from the descriptions and we are calculating shuttering and concrete as well. So we don't need to mark it again and again for that. With a single marker, we can take the data we needed. For that, I'll tell you how to write the description. First, write the name of the beam, followed by the dimensions of the beam. Then comes the important point. We have to mention the thickness of the slab. I'll tell you later why the thickness will be useful for our calculation. Here for this beam, we have the thickness is 36 centimeter, which means 0. 36 0.36 you can use underscore and we have to write the thickness of the slab other side of the beam here we don't have any slab so we can write zero so this is how the beam description will be move on to the dimensions while writing the description you can keep the schedules on one side so that you can verify the beam sizes so the name of the beam is b1 gonna write the size now 0 0.25 by 0 0.8 followed by the thickness of the slab it's 0 0.36 and 0 beam name size of the beam and thickness of the slab on either side folder I can folder it as beam level this is podium one level so B1 measurement type we, we Calculating the beam by the length followed by multiplying the dimension of the beam the color whatever color we can choose. Yeah, note it. This is the elements we have to enter. Click insert point to point measurement. Okay, now I'm start marking the beams. 
just by single click I can mark so B1 goes for same level okay so here you can notice this is a RAM slab so here this beam we will provide both side shuttering so there is no slab on either side which means we have to change the description of the beam so this side is zero this side is zero this uh, ramp so it, it goes like that uh, let me show in a section so this is the beam okay so this is the ramp outer and inner side doesn't touched with any slab so for the both side we have to provide full shuttering so mention zero zero i'll do repeat the same process and here we have the slab so the thickness of the slab is 0 0.28 so we have to edit the description again So now the outer beams of two sides we have marked. From here you can notice we used three type of description because of the slab thickness. And let us see any B1 is there. We have the B1 beams. Here also we have B1 beams. So let's mark these beams as well. when the structure is like not in definite structures the beams might be in in random area so we have to look at each and every place to understand the layout of the beam to avoid missing of items now i will follow the same steps for all other beams So far I have marked beam from B1 to B4 and CB as well and we have few beams left so these types of beam generally will be at core wall area you have to identify that if there is a core wall at the entrance area so let's mark the beams which are in the core wall and in this markup at this level Now you can notice the legend. So you can notice here the beams which have marked as per the schedule. Now let's move on to the takeoff part with the measurements we have done in the costex. Click on workbook. I already created a beam concrete. Select everything, drag and drop the quantities. That's it. Now we have got the quantities here. So these are the quantities we have marked. From the drawings so any changes in the markup will be reflected here the quantities will be reflected but we're gonna take the data to the external worksheet for our takeoff purposes so this is the takeoff sheet just copy copy values paste it here yeah now we have prepared a excel sheet with the data so these are the data we got from the cost text. the changes that we are doing in cost text it's never going to reflect it here so once you finalize your measurements and double check the beams and double check the description thickness of the beam and any beams is missed out everything after that you just take the data to the external workbook now we're gonna work on this to derive our quantity first is a number we all know it's just a one number yes so width and depth we can take it from here So just our parameters are ready. Now just multiply everything to get the quantity. 
so this is about the concrete quantity for the beam which we taken from the level b1 is 36.14 cubic meter the shuttering as i said this are the parameter we gonna use for the shuttering i'll explain you cross sectional area for the beams so here we have the beams and this is the slab imagine this is slab and these are the beam b1 or beam whatever beam 3 beam 1 okay so this is a beam this is slab 1 now i will mark the item that we need for the shuttering these are the portion we need for the shuttering right these are the portion which required for the beam shuttering right i hope you understand this concept so these are the formwork or shuttering area for the beam so here you can notice these items are not calculated for the shuttering area right so in this case we have to detect this part for this beam if we write 0 underscore 0 0.36 which defines that this is the thickness this is 0 0.36 we have to detect here we don't need to detect anything so for this beam imagine for this beam we have written 0 0.36 underscore 0 0.36 which shows that this is the area we have to detect it for the beam so this is the concept we have written the description like that that's it now one more point we have to understand beam there is a two portion of shuttering one is sides of the beam this blue portion is the sides of the beam another one is a soffit of the beam it's nothing but it's a bottom of the beam so the green portion is the bottom of the beam we have to calculate both separately for the green area which is the soffit area we just need a width of the beam multiplied by its length now i'm going to explain how to calculate sides of the beam let's open two columns okay first let's do the easy part that's a soffit of the beam soffit is nothing but length of the beam multiplied by the width of the beam you got the soffit quantity is 36.52 while preparing a boq we need sides separate soffit separate that's why we are measuring into two different sections so we know there is always two sides of the beam so the formula of the sides is simple so just let's write divide into two part length of the beam multiplied by depth of the beam minus the depth of the slab so same here goes same length into depth of the beam minus depth of the other side slab so this is a formula to calculate the sides of the beam here you can see i have made a formula simple length of the beam depth of the beam depth of slab length beam depth 0 0.28 will go here and the zero will be go here that's it yeah that's it from me for today we got the concrete and the shuttering quantity for the beam which we calculated in the cost text i hope this session is very much useful for you guys if so leave a thumbs up button so that this video will reach more learners and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel to join this wonderful journey where we learn and growing together this is basit ahmed signing off and see you in the next video take care and bye guys